Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. This time of year we think about how we don't want to be standing around in the mud when we get those spring rains and that kind of thing. You know, it's a temporary inconvenience. But for our plants that are out in soil that is wet, well, it's not a temporary inconvenience for them. They're stuck there 24-7 and crops just don't like wet feet. And what we're really talking about here is not just that there's moisture in the ground, it's that there's so much moisture in the ground that the water table has come up into the root zone. That's what we as farmers worry about. When did both Darren and I went to college years and well, years and years and years ago. ago. <laughs> oh, no. uh, it doesn't matter. I'm sure day one of agronomy, when a student walks in today to college, they're going to probably tell them, look, an ideal soil is about 50% dirt, 25% water, 25% air. Okay, so if you have 25% water in the soil, that's basically considered field capacity for water. But the problem is when the water table comes up, that air percentage goes down to almost nothing. When you have have a 40, 45, 50% water in your soil, that's a real problem for crops. They have to have oxygen. Those roots have to get oxygen in order to grow and especially to thrive. What happens a lot of times if we have a really wet spring, you can see it in your lawn or your garden or out in farmers fields, that when those roots can't grow deep because the water table is so high, you have shallow rooted crops, a shallow rooted lawn, a shallow rooted garden, whatever the case may be. Now the summer comes around and it gets hot and it gets dry and our roots are so shallow our crop is really susceptible to heat stress and also lack of moisture stress because we don't have a good deep root system. The other thing that can happen is if we have heavy winds, a lot of times they'll have what they call lodging and that's where the crop will tip over because it doesn't have a big anchor with the root system. Instead it's got a very shallow root system so it's very susceptible to damage from wind. So we have to be really cautious about that. If there's anything we can do to keep our crops from having wet feet in the spring, that's an important management practice. One of the management practices that most farmers are using today is called tiling and this goes back to years ago when they actually used to put clay tile in the ground well today it's all done with plastic it's the same stuff you put around your house and run it into your sump pump that's what farmers are using out in fields four inch or six inch tile lines we call them just plastic tubes running let's say every 40 or 50 feet out in the field and the point is not to remove all the water not even to remove lots of water just to lower the water table down to say three feet in the ground that's Yet. So farmers are certainly not removing all the water when they do this. They're just lowering the water table and getting that water level back to field capacity. Like we talked about a little earlier, we'd like 25% water in the soil. The soil just can't handle the 50% and allow roots to really grow. And there's really two ways to look at it. You can say, well, okay, we need to remove water. I look at it this way. We need to make sure there's plenty of oxygen in there so that our roots can live and so that all the little soil microbes can live. Because yes, it's easy to focus on the crop and you can certainly see the root system and the impact that it has when you have that water table come up and your roots just flat out die. What we don't see is the billions and billions of living microorganisms that would be just in a handful of soil. And once you fill up that soil profile with moisture and take the oxygen out, now all these aerobic microorganisms are ones that need air to live they'll die off. And we just can't have that because when all the microbes die in our soil, then our soils just aren't as productive the rest of the season. And it takes a year or even two years to build that microbial life back up. Whenever you listen to organic farmers, especially, they'll talk about how we've got to have that soil in good condition and it's got to be a living organism and it can really help crops without the use of chemicals and things like that. Well, you know what? One of the most important factors there is, is having enough oxygen in the soil. So if a farmer can't do that, there's no way, whether he's using herbicides or he's not, whether he's using fertilizer or not, there's just no way to raise a good crop. So if you want to be successful raising any crop, you have to make sure that it doesn't have wet feet and there's plenty of oxygen in the soil. The other thing you'll have to do is make sure you don't have weeds competing with your crop, like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 